grew up um, in Chicago. Um, went to school there at the Art Institute and uh, moved to Los Angeles in 2006 to go to CalArts. Exploring in my work is um, different kinds of sort of bellwethers or things that can kind of you know, sort of illuminate present day issues or something. And so uh, specifically um, this painting, Three Oracles, it's, it's, they're all Sears brands. Um, you know, Sears famously is the precursor to something like Amazon or Alibaba or whatever. And um, on one hand, people are sort of nostalgic for these brands that are now gone or these retailers that are now gone. But it's like a whole system that's gone, like, you know, the big box sort of model is sort of dissolved and the cycle of capital is sort of is constant. Something always replaces something else and so it's all these big box stores are just sort of empty now. There's just sort of these big vacant spaces that are pretty much unfillable. So you've got uh, in LA a city that is, um, you know, exploding in terms of real estate and housing um, prices, you know, there's a real crisis. And then you've got these huge amounts of, of land that are just unusable. And so you've got this very uh, interesting problem. <laughs> and so that's what the painting is about. Yeah, so it starts with a photograph and then, you know, um, I'll either make collages or, or things like digitally. Um, like I was mentioning with the, the painting included in the show, you know, there's some sort of um, enhancements or sort of a lot of liberties taken with how it's composed and things and I think in that painting particularly I really spent some time making it like um, look uh, congruent or sort of you know compositionally very uniform and um, you know so I'll spend a lot of time sort of digitally sort of manipulating the imagery or sometimes things are not sometimes things are kind of manipulated and composited and other times It'll be like a standalone image, um, but usually there's some level of, of um, intervention. Hopefully, my work ages well. You know, I hope uh, it still has a resonance in 200 years or whatever. Everybody feels that like the time they're living in is the most pivotal or critical, but it does seem like uh, things are changing so, so much right now in such a, a rapid way. From the time I finished high school in 2000 to now, I mean, the world is almost unrecognizable. Um, and so I think, you know, my work, you know, my goal is to sort of be a reflection of that change. Mm -hmm.